sign rule. So earlier we discussed Pythagorean theorem and Sokatoa. Just remember, Pythagorean theorem and Sokatoa can only be done if the triangle is right. So if you have a triangle, you can use the Pythagoras or the Sokatoa, which is, uh, I made a video on that one. Now, if you don't have a right triangle like this, we can use a sine rule, but if sine rule is not applicable, we will use cosine rule. But for now, we will start with sine rule. Now, what is sine rule basically? So sine rule, it's a, it's a ratio of the side and the angle. Now, the formula is so easy to uh, remember. All you have to do is to do this one. So we have A over sine A. What is that A? A is basically the side opposite to angle A. If angle A is here, this will be side A. If angle B is here, opposite to that will be our side B. If this is our angle C, opposite to that is our side C. And these are the A, B, C. They are sides. A, capital A, capital B, capital C. Uh, along with the signs, they are the angles. Now, the question is, there are two formulas that are given in books. We have the first one on top, and he, we can, you, you can use any of these two anytime. But I suggest for beginners, especially for beginners who are having problem or difficulties with ratio and proportion or algebra, you can use this one when the missing information is on top. For example, the side is missing. Make sure all the sides are on top. That will make it easier for you to solve it. Now, for example, the angle is missing. Use this formula over here. When the angle is missing, use that sine A over A, or everything on the top must all be angles. Now, I'll give you an example on these questions. Now, it doesn't actually really matter when it comes to the letters. Letters are just here to guide you, but if you know how to do it, you don't need those letters. For example, I'll give you examples in here. Let's just say I have a triangle here, which is not right angled triangle. Let's just say this is 110 degrees. And this one is, let's just say, unknown. Uh, let's just say 20 degrees. And this side over here, let's just say this is 15. This side over here, let's just say that is 60. Oh no, actually, we have to find a missing side. So let's just say that is X. Now, as you can see here, our missing information is side, side x. So, I have two formulas. I can use both of them or any of them. It doesn't matter. I can get this, the answer uh, on any of these formula. But, for those who are beginning this, you can start with, or you can use this one. You may use a over sine a, or basically the side over sine the angles. For example, here, our side here is x. Side x is missing over sine the angle opposite to x, which is 110 degrees. Equivalent to, since I started with side here, I should start with side here. So I will do, I will write 15 over sine 20 degrees. Now, since I am looking for this x, and x is being divided by sine 110, then I can just multiply both sides by sine 110 Multiply this also by sine 110 to cancel this out and leaving x behind. And all you have to do is put it on the calculator. Make sure your answers are in degrees or in radians. It depends on what is the given angle. So here all I have to do is to do 15 over sine 20. Make sure you close it with a bracket because sometimes the calculator gives a syntax error times sine 110. So basically write everything on the calculator and you will get an answer which is 41. So our side here is 41, uh, sorry, not 41 degrees, just 41. So it could be centimeter, inches, it didn't say here, for, but if they say centimeter, just write centimeter. And that is how you find a missing side. Now let's go on to a missing angle. So how do we do it with a missing angle? Let's do it again, another triangle. 
let's just say I don't have this angle, let's just say angle X and I have this one as 5 actually I have this as 99 and this one is let's just say 31 so as you can see here our missing information is an angle so I would rather use the second equation here or second formula and that because that is going to be easier to solve so how are we going to do that first sign the angle so sign since I'm missing this angle so sign X capital X over the one which is opposite to it the side opposite to it which is 5 equivalent to sine 99 since I'm writing the sign first on top, I will write all the sign on top. So sine 99 over 31. So, the same thing as earlier, we are looking for the variable x. So we have to move this 5 to the other side. How? By multiplying both sides by 5, it will cancel out here or becomes 1. Multiply this by 5. Next, we still have the word sine in here, or trigonometric uh, ratio here, which is sine, we have to bring it to the other side. And how do you bring it to the other side? If you are bringing sine to the other side, so I'm going to bring sine to this side, leaving me the x behind. If I bring sine to the other side, you will use this sine inverse, or sine with the power of negative 1 on your calculator, and then brackets, whatever is already written on your right side. So sine 99 over 3 times 5. And just put it on the calculator, you will get your answer for sine. So the inverse is on top of sine. If you have this kind of calculator, or you can Google or YouTube how to find it. So you will have the sine, and then see the power here is negative 1. And then just write everything. So sine 99 over 3 times 5 and make sure you close the bracket just to avoid any mistake and equals oh I got math error wait oh I forgot sorry it has to be 31 it has to be 31 here sorry I did a mistake guys here I forgot to write the one here the bottom part is 31 so I'll just write 31 so I will just correct that one. See over here, I only placed 31. Sorry about that. And now equals to, and I have 9. Let's just say 9, a whole number. So our angle is 9 degrees. So angle X is just 9 degrees. This one over here is 9 degrees.